Octagonia. Finally. You there? You're not from around here, are you? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. One traveller to another. Steer well clear of that city. It's in a right old state. The stories I've been hearing are enough to make your hair stand on end. Thanks for the warning, but I'm going in anyway. If the people there are suffering, I can't leave them to their fate. Things are bad enough these days without that. Blimey. There aren't many like you around. Most people are just out for themselves since Yggdrasil fell. Well, good luck to you. You'll need it. I know I'm not alone in this. If you're still out there, you'll be doing exactly the same thing as me. And that's how I'm going to find you. I just have to keep looking. Monsters inside the city. And the rumors were true. <laughs> Insolent fool! How dare you defy us! Someone needs to clip your wings! Teach you your place in the pecking order! Time to put an end to your hyper-annoying antics. Once and for all. <laughs> Not so fast! I think I'd be able to look after myself, being a fighter and all. <laughs> Wait, you're under the whole masked martial arts thing too, right? Yeah, you made it all the way to the semifinals. Jade, wasn't it? Well, picked a heck of a time to come back. What brings you to town? I've been visiting places where people are in trouble and destroying the monsters I find there. I heard that Octagonia had been overrun, so I came here as quickly as I could. What can you tell me about what's been going on? Uh, well, we've had it pretty tough. As soon as Yggdrasil fell, this creep called Booga showed up and took the place over. Started using us humans as his slaves. Vince and the others weren't about to let monsters take over our hometown without a fight, though. A bunch of them went out looking to take the guy down. But we've heard nothing since. In the end, it got so I couldn't bear to just stand by and watch things go to hell either. I had to try to do something. But, well, you saw how that worked out. Well, they won't be bullying the people of this town any longer. It's time someone taught this Booga character a lesson. Look, no offense, lady, but... He should be up in the old arena on the third level. I guess you know what you're doing, but uh, just be careful, okay?
Enslaver of innocence and all-round bully. I am he, mighty Booga, spectral sentinel, skull smasher, swoon inducer extraordinaire. And who might you be? Let me guess. Another righteous warrior come to put an end to my wicked reign. Oh, come on then, let's have a look at you. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything worse. Ooh. <laughs> Just look at her angry face. It's even more adorable than her only mildly grumpy face. So... But you won't be able to stay mad at me forever. <laughs> Especially not when you see what I've made you. Beloved, a token of my undying appreciation. I call it the hair-raising suit. Ooh, and it will make your darling Booga Wooga very happy indeed to see you wear it. <laughs> Not on your life! <laughs> Darling, please. We've only just met. <laughs> Try to control your urges. At least tell me your name before you start throwing yourself at me. <laughs> Come on now. Be a good girl and put it on. Not for your sake, then for theirs. A quick change of clothes is a small price to pay to stop these people suffering. No. Uh. Oh, my God. 
enough! I put on your stupid suit. Now be as good as your word and let these people go so I can come over there and pummel you. Hmm. Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. No, I've changed my mind. Sorry, but I am very pleased to hear you want to spend some quality time with me. <laughs> Let's get rid of these hangers on first, shall we? What? <laughs> Take everyone except me and the girl with you, my love. <gasps> Anything for you, my boogie woogie woo bugs. <laughs> You're disgusting. How could you? Save it for when we are finally alone with you, my little plum dumplings. We just have to pack these people off into an interdimensional vortex, and you will have me all to yourself. anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? Please! Uh, uh. Lo, thou hast defied mighty Booga and must needs pay thy penance. Thou knowest the sentence. Ten thousand battles, no more, no less. Only then shalt thou be permitted to leave this place. You animal! Can't you see he's had enough? He can't fight one more battle, let alone 10,000! Uh, stop it, please. You're only making it worse. Uh. Worse? What do you mean? Tis plain thou art new to this place. Fear not, child. His life, at least, shall be spared. Just. But the commandments of Booga must be obeyed. Those who defy him must remain in limbo and fight until they have learned their lesson. Now stand aside and let justice be done. Thine own day of judgment shalt come to pass soon enough. I don't know what you people are doing here, but it stops now. Please, you have to listen to me. The more you try to fight them, the worse I'll get it. Forget about me, okay? You really want to help? Go help those who need it most. Ugh. Some of the guys they're keeping down there, they're getting it way worse than me. Fine, if you insist.
catch a break lately. So you're the ones who went off to beat Booga and never came back. What exactly happened? Not a whole lot. We tried to take the guy down and he sent us here. Limbu, they call it. No one's allowed to leave until they've paid for standing up to him by learning their lesson. Which means trooping in one by one to fight monster after monster. And no matter how bad it gets, you can't tap out. But that's... that's just awful. The whole sordid little operation is run by a horrendous fiend by the name of Boudicca. She brought us all here and no one's made it out since. Unless someone does something about her, we'll be stuck here forever. Doomed to an eternity of terror, never knowing who might be called up next. That's no kind of life. But you can't give up hope. If what you just said is true, then all we have to do is take care of this Boudicca, and we can all go home. Can't give up hope? <laughs> You're a bit late for that, darling. We ain't had none of that in here for a long old while. Going after Boudicca will only make things worse for us all. Is that what you want? Nah. Best thing we can do is keep our heads down and wait for them to get bored and let us go. We don't need none of your heroics, alright? You leave it alone if you know what's good for you. You can't think like that. If you do, nothing will ever change. If we don't stand up and... Look, hun. We've all heard the rumors, okay? About the Dark Spawn and how he caused the Lord of Shadows to come and wreck the world? And how a certain young fighter just happens to be one of the Dark Spawn's bosom buddies? You really expect us to listen to you? I. I. Alright, it's time to lock horns with some more monsters! <laughs> you! Get moving! It's your turn to pay off some of your debt to Booga! No, 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 no! Please, please, I, I don't want to, I, I can't! Never mind <gasps> him. If it's a fight you're after, I'll be more than happy to oblige. <laughs> oh, what fun! I do so love them when they're new enough to still have some fire in their bellies. Lady Boudicca? <laughs> I bet you thought I didn't notice you up there. Making eyes at my Booga Wooga. <laughs> well, I did! 
luckily for you, we have an extra special punishment for little madams who don't know their place. It's called the Girly Burly. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> You've really gone and done it now. So long, kiddo. It was nice knowing you. Hmm. Don't be so sure. You may have given up hope, but I'm not about to. May Limbu be thy grave! Look, she weren't bad in the tournament, but this is a different kettle of fish. She don't stand a chance out there. Ugh! 
for me, human. Is that... it? I don't know what all the... fuss was about. I don't believe it! She made it through the girly burly! How did she do that? Anybody else would have given up by now. Survive? Well, sometimes if a gal needs something doing, she just has to do it herself. Ain't right. She just fought off a massive horde of monsters. At least give her a chance to catch her breath. Oh, boo hoo hoo hoo! Did you really think I was going to make this a fair fight? Honestly, one little present from my booger, and she thinks she's queen of everything. <laughs> Don't let it get to your head, dear. My boo only has eyes for one woman, and she outshines you in every arena. Looks? <laughs> Style? Not even close. Muscle? <laughs> Just look at you. Huh? <sighs> 
what? You think that's it? I'm just getting started. Oh, you think you're so tough, don't you? Well, you've asked for it now, Missy. Limbu's about to introduce a new punishment. Death! <sighs> Jade, stop! Just stay down, you hear? Keep fighting and you'll die. That ain't no use to anybody. Quit now while you still can. If I stop now, then you really will all give up hope. Not while I'm still... breathing. Too many people have given up already. And who can blame them? The world's fallen apart around them. But I'm not about to do the same. My friends are still out there. And they'll never give up. I know it. <sighs> they give me the strength to keep on going. A light in the darkness. I have to keep that light alive. I'll keep getting up, no matter how many times you knock me down. I'll never let that light die! <laughs> 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 stuff that's been going down. We lost sight of the most important thing. Hope. That light you talked about? Mine is those kids back at the orphanage. I won't stay down either. Not until I finally make it back to them. <coughs> we got your back and old Jade. What kind of big tough warriors would we be if we didn't, eh? <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry about what I said before, okay? And I'm on board with all the Light of Hope stuff, too. There's gotta be something still worth fighting for in this world, right? Mm. Alright, everyone. Let's finish Boudicca off. Then get out of here and take care of her boyfriend. It's time to bring Hope back to Octagona. Who's too good for the likes of you, filthy humans? You're all going straight to hell!
him, tiger! Feast your eyes on this! Not even close! <laughs> <laughs> This is not looking good. We need to get out of here, fast! <gasps> Look, Octagonia! It's our only chance. Quickly, everyone! What? <laughs> 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 Not be roughing up my bunnykins. <laughs> my eyes. Huh? huh? Did we? Huh? 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 Man, we made it. We're back home. Woo yeah! We yeah. did it, guys! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wait, we can't start celebrating just yet. We've got one last battle to fight. Octagonia won't be safe until we've dealt with Booga. Let's do this! <laughs> Jade, you okay? Ah, <laughs> my little bunny rabbit has finally hopped home to daddy. I wondered when that suit of mine would finally work its magic. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, we've got so much to look forward to. You're mine. All mine. We're going to be together forevermore. We'll write each other love letters. Maybe even, dare I say it, hold hands. Oh, it's all so romantic. Mm. 
No. Never. Still alive? I I remember the Tree of Life and the Lord of Shadows. I can't be the only one who made it, right? Right? <sighs> hmm. Not good. I'm not exactly in the best shape for a jailbreak. It's not a jail. It's a monster's lair. <gasps> <laughs> hey! Where'd you get off sneaking up on people like that? <sighs> Don't worry. I'm not a bad slime. I promise. <sighs> oh dear. It looks like you're a little battered and bruised. But I can help. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. You... You healed me. What kind of slime goes around appearing out of nowhere and healing humans? <laughs> this kind of slime. My name's Elijah. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. Sure. Well, whatever. If you're as good a monster as you say you are, maybe you can help me. Have you seen my buddies anywhere? Who's that? Your friends? You mean other Goomans? Nope. You're the only one here. But you want to go and find them, do you? All right, follow me. <laughs> He's helping me escape? Maybe he really is one of the good guys. Well, I'm not about to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Guess I've got a new friend.
easy. Another escape from an underground prison, huh? It takes me back to the good old days when we busted out of Heliodor Castle. I hope he's doing okay, whatever he is. Who are you talking about? Sounds like someone who's very important to you. Long story. Anyway, let's blow this joint. Big ugly monsters right up ahead! Yeah, I see them. I don't know if you heard, but apparently Lord Indignus has been smashing it. He most certainly has. He taught those what to the lesson, or so I heard. Attacked their village and sent it crashing to the ground. Watchers? Never heard of them. Any idea what they're talking about? Never mind. There'll be time for that later. We need to get these guys out of the way. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. Why don't we do this? Mm -hmm. It's terrible! Awful! A complete splatastrophe! Hey? Have you got potty? Just who are you anyway? I've never seen you down here before. You! But how did you manage to break out? Wait, how do you know my name? I think you and me need to have a little talk. But it'll have to wait for now. Come on. Yay! Let's get going!
great. Going in there looking for a fight would be suicide. Damn it, what do we do now? Come on, you can't just do giving up like that. What would your sister think? Wait a second. You're talking about my sister now? Not that she'd be in a position to think much of anything. Um, <laughs> you don't remember telling me about her? I suppose it must have been a while ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? I only just met you, remember? <clears throat> anyway, this is no slime to be dithering. We need to look for another way out of here. Come on, let's go! <sighs> You're a slippery customer, all right. But don't worry, I'll get the truth out of you eventually. <laughs> <laughs>